The new Warlock exotic gauntlets are stupid good. They do this, and I quote, Your cold snap grenades have an additional charge that recharges quicker on direct impact. Question monk direct impact. The seeker spawned from cold snap grenades travels further. My first thought after reading that was, Can I have infinite cold snap grenades by continuously bonking enemies on the head? My second thought was, oh shit, two stasis terrors, but the first thought's not important. And as you can see from the footage, you actually can. You literally can bonk enemies on the head and get your grenade back. It's amazing. Here I'm hitting a major servitor. Major, keep that in mind. And on bonking enemies on the head, I get half my grenade back. And then from freezing them from the actual, you know, cold snap grenade effect, it gives me another half, which is pretty, pretty interesting. I then also tested it on a group of enemies. And as you can see, uh, I get half of my grenade back again. Uh, normally, and then I get a lot more lower amounts of grenade back, which is probably because they're uh, minor targets. It seems like mages just give more energy back than minor targets. Um, that's all I got from the regen part. Uh, the main thing to note though, stasis turrets don't get any regen effect, which is very sad. But it does make a lot of sense because they're unbelievably powerful if it did. The second thing you notice after using it is the tracking is like ins these things are insane they're like so fucking fast they're too fast for their own good sometimes they literally just don't you throw them next to tight it doesn't not do anything <laughs> that's about it from what they do though well apart, apart they also give you another grenade charge but i think that was quite obvious from the description as long as you have cold snap grenades on there it's like the scatter grenade ones anyway here's a build for cold snap grenades i'm doing two builds because you can obviously use them with stasis turrets, but specifically cold snap grenades. We're gonna have this. For your aspects, you want glacial harvest to spawn in shards and then ice flare bolts because they're ice flare bolts and you shouldn't have taken them off in the first place. For the fragments, you want whispers of fissure, rending, conduct, and shards. I'm not gonna explain them, they just waste time. Uh, but one thing to note is that you can switch out conduct for torment at higher levels. Torment is the one that gives you grenade energy upon taking damage. Uh, so obviously that in higher level content is um, better probably because you take a lot of damage and stuff like that. That's it for stasis though. Uh, for the mods, you're going to want elemental shard, which is a stasis mod, elemental charge, which is a general mod, and then three fire powers, uh, which are all uh, solar mods. Fire power is a solar mod. This will basically give you insane grenade upon picking up an elemental shard you'll get charged with light times two and then when you throw your grenade no matter if it is a stasis turret or a cold snap uh you will get back like 25 percent maybe of your grenade uh it doesn't matter which charge you throw it back on excuse me myself throw it back on I mean, it doesn't matter which charge of your grenade you throw it on, because with the gauntlets you get two charges of your grenade. So, it doesn't- either of those charges will still grant you the, uh, grenade energy back from firepower. It still works. That's what I mean. Not throw it back. <laughs> but this is- this is already an insane build already. Next thing you want is a headstone weapon or a demo weapon. I would, I would highly recommend Headstone, because Headstone is unbelievably strong. Uh, especially with uh, the Whispers we have on- the, sorry, the Fragments we have on right now. Uh, but you can use a Demo Weapon if you want. You can also use an exotic, like uh, Traveler's Chosen, or any of your choice that gives you back Grenade Energy, Ability Energy, I don't know. Whatever you want. Just Headstone Weapon is priority, in my opinion. And then finally, you want 100 Discipline. Uh, because it's, well, it's a grenade build. That build right there, so good. I mean, I only used it in a love sector, to be honest. But goddamn, is it so fucking strong. Everything is frozen, you just have constant cold snap grenades. Constant, you literally can't run out. It's just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> you just, all you do, you run in, you throw a cold snap. Uh, you pick up the elemental shot. you don't even notice, to be honest, you pick up the elemental shards. Um, and then you throw another cold snap, and then you throw another cold snap, and then you throw another cold snap, and then you just keep doing it. As long as they're enemies, you just keep throwing them, and it keeps working. And then when you run out, you just use your headstone weapon, and your damage weapon, and then you throw another cold snap. <laughs> it ju you just keep going endless cycle. It's really, it's genuinely really strong. Uh, in terms of higher end content, stuff like Master Nightfalls, I guess, Master Vogue. 
uh, is particularly what I'm thinking about. This probably won't be that bad considering it doesn't really require kills to work, but it could be kind of dangerous because you do need to go a little close range, so yeah. Though it is stasis, so, you know, constantly freezing, it's a lot easier to go close range. Then of course you can switch this to a stasis turret build by just switching your frag- oh, aspects around. You wanna switch your ice flare bolt fragment to the turret. I would probably recommend that. Um, for higher end content, specifically. The reason is because it still me it means you don't have to get kills for it, for the build to work, uh, entirely. Uh, which, getting kills in higher end content is obviously a lot harder. So, that's just one thing to mind. And yes, I, I, am, I am a hypocrite about Ice Flare, I know. If you don't want to switch off Ice Flare Bolts, you can switch off the Shards aspect. But if you do do that, remember to replace Elemental Shard, the Stasis mod, with Explosive Wellmaker, which is another solo mod. That way you can actually generate wells um, and actually get charged with light. Explosive Wellmaker, by the way, um, generates solar wells on Explosive multi kills. Explosive does include, um, you know, exploding like a headstone crystal or shattering an enemy or you know yes yeah, stasis crystals that does count as an explosive so that's why it works other than that that's about the build uh, there's nothing really else to it either either the stasis turret version or the cold snap version works perfectly fine they're insane they're stupid fun to use god damn they're so fun they're, they're like god it's just a bit i mean it's like stasis builds in general are stupid fun but yeah this, this shit's insane um i'll probably put some content at the end that you can just watch uh, i also have a lot of content of me not even using a headstone weapon and just trying to do a you know the weapon bounty thing or weapon crafting so yeah you don't even need a headstone weapon apparently it's just that good and yes you can literally also infinitely freeze targets with this uh Sorry, infinitely freeze mages with this exotic constantly without requiring anything at all which is pretty good but yeah that's about it for the build uh i don't really have anything else to say en enjoy watching me kill level three dregs with insanely overpowered weapons Thank you.